hey guys so i'm obviously in montreal still five weeks i've been here for about five weeks and i have decided that for this week i'm gonna try getting up at 5 30 every morning because it's school at home i normally get up at like 6 37 and recently because i don't really have any early classes so i just get up at like 8 39 and it's just it just doesn't make me feel that good i feel like i would feel better if i had a bit more time in the morning i could just like have slow start I mean, I think it's going to be difficult. I think there might be a day when I miss it. But I think it will be really nice because I also have a huge amount of work to do this week. So yeah, I've set my alarm for 5.30. Set about 10 alarms actually, because that's kind of my style. I would like to get out of that habit. That's not what this week is about. I really hope I make it. Check in with you tomorrow morning. It's 9.38. I am going to finish off Home Alone because I'm really excited for Christmas already, which I know I shouldn't be, but I can't bear. I'm also wearing Christmas pajamas. Okay, I have just been re-watching some of the footage just for fun. And I think there is a enormous disclaimer that needs to be put in before I start this whole video that um, obviously I'm British. I grew up in England and I've always lived there. And then I've come here now and I tend to be quite impressionable in terms of accents and people who have been calling me since I've been here have kind of picked up on it and don't like it but I don't know that I have that much control over it and so you'll notice in this video if I've just been hanging out with my friends my accent is completely different to normal. I mean I would say I'm developing quite a intriguing hybrid but yeah I'm just preparing you for that because it's a little bit jarring maybe even offensive to some people so I thought I would just get it out there in the open. Admit it, you know, admit I have a problem. So I'm gonna finish that off, read my book, go to bed, and hopefully I go to bed nicely instead of last night when I had a dream that I had coronavirus the whole night. We'll see how it goes. See you in the morning. So I just, I'm gonna go myself some water and I kind of feel like I'm already through the wanting to go back to sleep. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like if someone rushed in my room right now and they were like, go to sleep, I'd be like, fine. But, you know, I think it's okay. I'm just gonna drink some water and relax a bit and I've got swimming at eight. So maybe I'll read through some notes for my midterm from like 6.30 or 7 till 7.45 so I can get a start on things a bit more than yesterday. I know editing Haley. Oh, I that sound. I know editing Haley is going to be really mad at this angle right now, but At 5.30 in the morning, the motivation to look good just really isn't there. So, editing Haley, suck it up, because this sucks, so yeah, deal with it. But yeah. So, it's the end of the first day, and I would say it was fine. I'm like glad I woke up early. I started working at like 9, because I went for a walk and did some yoga. But I definitely, at like 11.30, it feels that I was a bit more tired. I think it's in my head. It was four hours, three hours later, so it was 3 p.m. And I always get this afternoon lull at 2, 3, 4 p.m. where I'm like, mm. so definitely that happened earlier at like 11, but it meant I picked back up for the afternoon, so it was good. And then I just came back from the gym like an hour ago. Now I'm just winding down. It's like 9.30 now. Realistically, I'll probably end up asleep at like 10, hopefully latest, but like I'm also gonna read my book. And last night I just couldn't go to sleep, so I was just reading my book for ages. But hopefully we'll be okay. But yeah, I'll see you tomorrow morning. This was definitely more of a haphazard because of my other one, 
lines. I think the sheer volume of the lines that I said started to sink in. I think it's normally fine, but when I start to press snooze, it starts to get really messed up and there are ones all the time. So I can't even figure out, like, I'm tired, so I'm making it and I don't even know what time it's saying. But, you know, I feel fine right now. Um, I've got like half an hour till I need to eat up and add them uh, to the gym. So I think I'm not going to do anyone. I don't know if anyone is expecting me to do So I've just been chilling for like the last hour. It's been lovely. And I've just had some hot water. I don't know why I'm showing you. It's not showing you anything. It's just my... Now I'm going to finally start my reading for my midterm. Woohoo! Hey, so it's end of day, it's Tuesday today. End of day two. God, it feels like I've been doing this forever. Today was good. I didn't have that much issue getting up and I don't think I was that tired during the day. I didn't have like quite the same lull as I did on Monday, but I went and got a Corona test. So like, I think I was really stressed about that while I was going. So I think that like- Tired me out a bit. But now weirdly I've like come through it and I'm kind of- Energized, which is annoying. I'm probably not going to go to sleep that much, but you don't care. Um, 9.25 now, I know, crazy. Yeah, tomorrow morning I have the gym booked at 6.30 because they've closed the gym, so it's the last time I can go. And I now can't even have anyone in my room, so I had dinner with someone sitting across the hall. Looking up. Um. I'm just going to finish watching some YouTube and hopefully sleep around 9.45, 10. See you tomorrow morning when hopefully... I get up on time. So yeah, we'll see. So I have gotten up and it's like 5.40. I need to watch the bake off because I know I have such a long day ahead. I need a good start, you know. Could really be doing work right now, but I don't want to. Just thought I'd give you a middle of the day update on Wednesday. Yes, I did just kick the desk. I'm so tired. I don't know what it is. I think it's raining outside and a harrowing journey to the post office. Also, I've already gotten a coffee, but it did not cut it. You'll know how mad I am about how often they get my order wrong. They even, they knew my name, but I asked for a venti. I paid for a venti. This looked like a venti to you. Just wait. It's not, okay? I don't, I don't want to be that person who gets annoyed, but like, it's quite sick. And I say they knew my name, Kaylee, Haley. So, I mean, I'm tired. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Anyway, there's an update that no one needed. Hello, um, so it's the end of Wednesday, day three. Yeah, today I checked in with you that I was really tired part way through the day, but got a coffee and that was a real picking up and it was great. Found out that I don't have coronavirus, so I'm very happy about that. Um, and so I'm now moseying to bed. It's definitely later tonight, it's 10 now. But like, I had to do laundry. I was also like talking to my friend. I, I don't want like me getting up early to be restricting all my day. I want it to only be a good thing. I don't know, I think it's fine. It's fine. But yeah, I'm gonna try and get up at 5.30 tomorrow as per. But I, tomorrow's gonna be a really long day because I get released a midterm at 5 p.m. tomorrow. And so I wanna work on it a lot tomorrow evening and Friday, early Friday morning so that I can get it mostly out of the way for the weekend because it's Thanksgiving weekend. So tomorrow's gonna be, not gonna lie, a lot of coffee, but we're hoping that we can keep ourselves energized, keep going. So yeah, like I'm just warning you that I'll probably be checking in tomorrow saying that it's going terribly, but I don't know, at least like, ah, it's fine, it's fine. Why am I still talking and trying to get up at 5.30? Back from my run now, and it's only like 7 40. 
it's just great. Like I haven't been stretching at all after my runs because I always get back and I'm like, I need to work, I need to work. And I do need to work right now, but like I wouldn't have gotten up for another like hour normally. This is so nice. I can just like relax, I can chill out a little bit. It's pretty nice. Except we'll see how I feel tomorrow morning. Okay, just a quick side note here. I'm just using my milk. I'm looking at the expiry date to make sure it's not out of battery. Out of date. I don't know if you can read that. 21 Feb 02. I know they do their dates backwards here and all, but like, did that go out of date in 2002? That's before I was born. It did taste a little weird, I'm not gonna lie to you. But like, 18 and a half year old milk. <laughs> Hey, so it's the end of Thursday, day four, and today was like my big grind day, but didn't even do that much. Didn't get super tired today, I think I was like nervous about my midterm, so I kind of like kept thinking about that, and weirdly like didn't need as much caffeine as normal days and stuff like that, which is weird, but I think I'm still kind of like a bit wired, but I did my midterm and then just hung out with my friend for a bit, and so it's like... 11 right now. I don't want to, I, as, as I said, I feel like I said this yesterday, I don't want to sacrifice experiences just for like a challenge, you know, it's fine. But I think I'm going to get up pretty early tomorrow because I can't remember if I said this or not, but I'm spending Thanksgiving weekend, which is this coming weekend, with some like family friends, so they want to leave tomorrow morning at 8, and I want like a good draft of my midterm done, so I think I'm going to aim for 5 tomorrow instead of 5.30, get up if I can, like out of bed at 5.30, do a workout, be ready and working at 6.30, and then like an hour and a half to work, and then I'll feel more comfortable going. No one cares what I'm saying right now, what am I talking about? But yeah, anyway, we'll see. Okay, so I just did a quick workout, but I realized that I got my timings wrong because I feel like last night, check on this editing handy, I said that I was gonna get up and do my workout at 5.30 so I could do a full workout and then work at my 6.30. Like out of bed at 5.30, do a workout, be ready and working at 6.30. Got up at 6, so now it's, I'm working, but it's 6.45. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep working on my midterm until eight and then go and I'll see you in the new location. Well, you know, I can't do everything right all the time. May well have um woke up and gone back to sleep. Be on my control. See you. I'll try to get you. Okay, hopefully you can see me. Um it's the final night at this other house. And I had a very nice day. It was quite tiring. And I could try and be asleep by 11 and try and get up by 5.30 or 6. Do my workout to start working at 7.30, hopefully. Gonna try not to sleep again like this morning. I just missed my alarm and it was annoying. But we're gonna try and do better. See you tomorrow morning. Good morning. Okay, so I am back from Thanksgiving weekend. It was so nice. Literally walked in this room and I was like, why did I come back? And also, sorry if my face is really red. I'm having like an allergic reaction to the cream that I have and it's very unpleasant, but I'm trying not to think about it. And I'm thinking about it right now and it hurts so much. <sighs> oh, I am quite tired. Hopefully I'm gonna go to sleep. I did not sleep well last night at all. I don't know what I was even thinking about, but I don't, I don't even know if I even went to sleep. But I've realised, and you know when you're a kid, you're like, ugh, I've got to get up for school tomorrow or whatever, I need to go to sleep. Maybe I should just like, I mean, I do it a bit now with reading my book, but like, maybe when I can't go to sleep I should just get up and do some work, and that'll probably tire me out, and then I'll go back to bed. And then at least I've spent that time doing something productive. I don't know, tell me if that's a stupid idea, because maybe it'll wake me up and then I like, will be too engaged, and then I won't be able to go back to sleep ever. But yeah, comment below what you do when you can't sleep. Whether you just get up or whether you just lie there. Because I tend to lie, lie there and it just kind of sucks. So why am I still talking? I don't know. 
But yeah, I'm going to get up tomorrow morning. We're going to do some work. I'm going to submit my mint time. Okay, good night. Oh, also, tomorrow's the last day. I extended it one more day. Today would technically be... I would have finished already. But because I accidentally slept in that one day, I decided to keep going. And I genuinely think I need to keep going. But I'll give you a summary tomorrow. Okay, good morning. It's the final morning. And... I am already sad to be back in my room. Yeah, I actually, okay, I will give a separate debrief and I don't know if it's disgusting actually. I'm not gonna say anything right now, but I'm awake. Also, I should have mentioned that I woke up. I don't even know what time it's the middle of the night. Have a sip of water out of this. I just poured it all over myself. I just missed my mouth completely and I was like completely soaked, but I was too tired to like get up and dry myself. So I just like lay there wet and then just like fell back asleep. <laughs> Oh. Okay, so for a quick debrief, basically I really enjoyed this, I thought it was so beneficial, it made me get a much quicker start to my day and I really enjoyed taking that time for myself to just indulge in what I really wanted to do first thing in the morning. Um, in honesty, I haven't kept up with this completely going forward, I mean, I have started getting up at 8 again but I really want to start this again when it gets to Christmas holidays and I just think it made every morning a bit more manageable and kind of even a bit more fun. Like it was a reason to get up every morning so yeah i totally recommend it and like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye